Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto 6 and characters that we would love to see return in Grand Theft Auto 6. So, firstly, I do want to give a big shout out to everybody that follows me on Twitter at TV. That link is in the description I posted earlier. Just asking which previous or past GTA characters would you like to see make a cameo in GTA 6? And we got tons of responses. I love interacting with you guys, and I do just thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch my videos and also uh, just chit-chat it up with me. I read every single comment, too. So down below, go ahead and let me know which GTA character would you like to see return in Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, we are theorizing for this video. We're speculating here because GTA 6 might not even be the title of the next Grand Theft Auto game. Really, that is just a placeholder name that uh, I'm just giving it because it's easy to say GTA 6 because we don't know where it's going to take place. Uh, I would like to see GTA 6 take place in Vice City. For the most part, that's what I'm going to be sticking with for this video. Uh, who knows? GTA 6 might take place across multiple different cities. Also, I will say for the sake of this video, uh, the rules that Rockstar has set in place with the different universes is going to apply to this video. Which means that in Grand Theft Auto 6, which will probably be in the HD universe just as GTA 4 and GTA 5 are, well, in this video, we are only going to be talking about GTA characters from GTA 4 and on. So, CJ... Tommy, characters from the 3D universe are not going to be included in this video. Um, so starting off, I will say that Rockstar Games is no stranger to letting past GTA characters make cameos in other games. There's tons of them, from protagonists to major characters and even minor characters. One of my favorite is Phil Cassidy, who appears in four different Grand Theft Auto games. And each time he appears in a different Grand Theft Auto game, well, his appearance changes drastically. He appears in Vice City Stories as a 30-year-old fake war veteran. He goes on to appear in GTA Vice City, where we see him lose an arm. He also makes a brief cameo in GTA Liberty City Stories. And he also appears in Grand Theft Auto 3. Now, that's just one of many characters to actually make a cameo appearance. I've actually got five characters today that I would love to see return in GTA 6. The first one is a pretty crucial character that I've actually talked about in a separate video before, which you can find link down below in the description. That is Jerry Kapowitz, a homeless man turned millionaire. And Jerry Kapowitz actually appears three different times between Grand Theft Auto 4 and The Ballad of Gay Tony. The first interaction that we have with Jerry Kapowitz is in the GTA 4 mission, Clean Getaway, where we just see him towards the end of a cutscene asking for some spare change. Change, man! Man, where do these people get up? Like I'm gonna pay for their drug habits. The second encounter with Jerry Kapowitz is actually in the mission Departure Time in The Ballad of Gay Tony, which is the final mission in this game, where in one of the final cutscenes, we actually bump in to Jerry Kapowitz playing as Luis Lopez. He falls on the ground, we walk off, and the camera pans onto him actually finding some diamonds in the rough, literally. Uh, just this bag of diamonds that was the main focal point for the most part for the GTA 4 and Ballad of Gay Tony storyline. This homeless man finds them. Fuck you. And Jerry's final appearance is actually in the end credits in The Ballad of Gay Tony, about 12 or 13 minutes in, where we actually see Jerry Kapowitz celebrating in the backyard of Bryce Dawkins' mansion. He's on a diving board popping some champagne. Now, you might be asking yourself if you didn't see my original video on this topic, how do we know that Jerry's going to be in the next Grand Theft Auto game if it takes place in Vice City? Well, there's actually a Weasel News segment called Dumpster Diving Can Make You a Millionaire, 
where Jerry is interviewed and he states that he is taking his wealth to Vice City and he's going to open up a gun shop and a liquor store. The second character we have is another character from the GTA 4 trilogy, and that is Yusuf Amir. He is one of my favorite, all-time just favorite GTA characters. He's a very reckless, colorful, and charismatic, gold-loving character, literally with the gold-loving stuff. Uh, he's also a very good friend to Luis Lopez in The Ballad of Gay Tony. Born into wealth to a highly conservative businessman of a father, Yusuf seeks and also fails to impress his father. And I'm honestly surprised that Yusuf never made an appearance in Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, I really expected to see something about Yusuf Amir, but we never did. Only until uh, he became or was referenced via GTA Online Weapon Skins. Uh, the Yusuf Amir Golden Skin or Camo, whichever one it is. Uh, but... In my honest opinion, it would make sense to see Yusuf in GTA 6, uh, as Yusuf is a real estate developer primarily. That's where he, get his, he gets his wealth from, uh, aside from being born into a wealthy family. So we would probably be seeing a lot of Yusuf Amir billboards or his buildings in the next GTA game. Uh, I also just imagine Yusuf just hanging out on a giant golden yacht and according to the gta wiki yusuf was born in 1977 so if gta 6 takes place in say 2022 well yusuf would be around 45 to 46 years old an age where he probably isn't as wild as he was in gta 4 but also the same yusuf that we know and love the next character we have is tony prince if you don't know tony from the ballad of gay tony then you probably know him from GTA Online nightclubs. Gay Tony is a nightclub guru and also a man of power with a lot of connections. He's a charismatic, feminine, funny guy. And with the nightlife scene being so prevalent and popular in real life modern culture, and with GTA being a parody of real life modern culture and all that stuff, it makes sense to see Tony make another cameo in the next Grand Theft Auto game, especially if it takes place in Vice City, real life Miami. I, I believe that the nightclub and the nightlife scene would be very prevalent in this game. And honestly, I was surprised it took Rockstar five years to actually incorporate Tony into Grand Theft Auto V. Next up, we've got Brucey Kibitz. Brucey is quite possibly the most energetic GTA character ever. This man seems to be everywhere. Albeit he doesn't physically appear in Grand Theft Auto V, he is definitely heard in this game through his annoying bull shark testosterone advertisements to his annoying phone calls. It is good to hear a familiar voice in Grand Theft Auto V, and that obviously being the voice of Brucey Kibitz. Brucey is also a dealer of luxury vehicles, he's a fitness junkie, and a lifestyle coach. And I would bet you that in one way or another, Crazy Brucey will pop his head up somewhere within the next Grand Theft Auto game. And lastly, really, we've got Laszlo Jones. Laszlo is a real-life person who plays his real-life self in the GTA games. He is a, a fan favorite of Rockstar Games, it seems like. And he actually had a lot to do way back in the day with radio stations being incorporated into the GTA games, which is really, really cool. Laszlo has been in almost every single Grand Theft Auto game, but has only physically appeared in one Grand Theft Auto game, and that was GTA V. And... Well, in GTA 5, Rockstar completely took all credibility away from Laszlo Jones by just purely humiliating Laszlo to the core. Uh, there were so many bad things that happened to Laszlo in Grand Theft Auto 5. And uh, basically, if there's young girls and TV shows involved, Laszlo will 100% be there. And there will be a lot of young girls... And probably TV shows in GTA 6. So I bet without a doubt we're going to be seeing Laszlo Jones once again. Now the last, very last character we have is one that I don't think will physically appear in the next GTA game. It would be cool. But I believe this character will be referenced. And that is Michael DeSanta. With his newfound connections in the film industry from GTA 5. 
I'd bet that Michael will be referenced in some way or another on an in-game advertisement, TV show, billboard, or something like that. Also, Michael's voice actor, Ned Luke, is very active within the GTA community on social media, and I don't see how Rockstar could possibly not write Michael into the story of the next installment in the Grand Theft Auto series in some way, shape, or form. But... For now, those are five characters and one referenced character that I feel like should make an appearance in Grand Theft Auto 6, a cameo and return. Who knows if Rockstar agrees with me. What do you guys think, though? Let me know down below in the comments. Who do you think should return in Grand Theft Auto 6? Going to read through every single one of those. Of course, if the universe barriers didn't exist, I would love to see Carl Johnson return or a very old Tommy Versetti. Uh, or even Claude, just some very old GTA protagonists from the 3D era. But, of course, that is not going to happen because Rockstar and the Universe Barriers. But if you guys did enjoy this video, hopefully I could earn your thumbs up and your subscription. A little love always goes a long way. Thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, I hope to see you in the next video.